Hello guys, so I created this animation uh, that you can see here. It is composed of a few objects. Some of them are grease pencil objects like this frame here and this word here. And some of them are uh, 3D objects, some planes with the texture like this hand here and this mouth here. So I created this and then I wanted the background to be a blue background. So let's go to here to the world here and I change the background color to blue. And something weird happens. So the 3D objects, the 3D planes with the texture get this bluish hue. <laughs> but the grease pencil objects, they are not affected. They look just fine with this background so I don't know why blender behaves like this 3d objects and grease pencil objects it doesn't treat them the same if we change the viewport display here to like blue or red you see that now it affects the grease pencil objects and when you change this guy it affects the uh, 3d objects so why is this I don't know so we change everything to white Let's copy this guy here, Control C and then Control V, everything back to normal. Well, if you know the answer to my question, why does Blender behave like this and doesn't treat grease pencil uh, objects and 3D objects the same, please let me know. But if uh, you want to know about the solution that I applied for my background, I just created another grease pencil object that I called background here, that is hidden here. So let's un <laughs> unravel it and this is it. It is a big wall, a big blue wall that will act as a background and that I parented to my camera. So now whenever my camera moves, this background moves with it. So let's play the animation here and you can see that my camera is moving and the background is moving with the camera. So and if we hit zero of course now we have our blue background so this is my quick tip for this video please check my gumroad if you want to support the channel by any file you want from there uh, thank you for watching and see you in another grease pencil video peace